This video will show you how to use a Paddy ERDPML to plan single first dive of the day, non multi level dives. Altogether, we'll do five separate examples. To begin with, turn it on. Wait for it to go to select mode and then press the mode button. When it changes to dive planning in the display, press enter and then for multi-level press no for first dive press yes and then the first example we're going to go to 18 meters we know we're in meters because we've got a little m in the display in the bottom right hand corner of it press enter the ndl or no decompression limit is 56 minutes for 18 meters that's the maximum you're allowed to be there for press enter and now the enter ABT the actual bottom time that's a question asking us how long are we actually going to be at that depth for for this example we'll just enter 40 and press enter it tells us after that dive it would be at pressure group P press enter and it's going to enter SI SI being surface interval so the fact that we've got there means there's no additional rules we need to follow for that dive. So what we'll do now is we'll hold the reset button in until the display changes and then release it. And we'll now do the second example. So press the mode button, press enter on dive planning. For multi-level press no. For first dive press yes. And for this example, we'll go to 14 meters. Press enter. The NDL, no decompression limit, is 98 minutes in this example. Press enter. And then the actual bottom time, we will do 58 minutes. Press enter. And the pressure group after the dive is a Q. Pay very careful attention if you see anything looking like an O in the display because there's a very small line which actually shows up better on this example than it does in the actual display of the ERDPML. This is actually a Q, not an O. So press enter and again it's gone to the enter SI. So that ends that example. Hold the reset button in and then wait for the display press the mode button back to dive planning press enter multi-level no first dive yes we'll now do 10 meters then press enter the no decompression limit is 219 minutes now you notice the massive changes in the amount of time you're allowed to be underwater with 18 meters being 56 minutes 14 meters being 98 minutes and 10 meters being a massive 219 minutes press enter and then the actual bottom time is going to be 45 minutes press enter and the press group after that dive would be a H press enter again and again we're at the enter surface interval so no further rules to bear in mind press and hold the reset button wait for the select mode select dive planning multi-level no first dive yes and then we'll enter 18 meters again it tells you the NDL is 56 minutes press enter we're actually going to be down there for 50 minutes this time press enter and then straight away you're seeing it's saying safety stop 3 minutes C rule 2 if you look at your lid and I'll just click on my rules tab you'll see rule 2 safety stops a safety stop for three minutes at five meters 
is required any time the diver comes within three pressure groups of a no decompression limit and for any dive to a depth of 30 metres or greater. So we'll go back to the calculator of man, press enter, press group after the dive is a T, press enter and we'll get back to the enter surface interval again. So on that particular dive we know we need to pay attention to rule 2, the safety stop, but other than that no additional rules other than the standard paddy rules. Holding the reset button, wait for it to go to select mode, press the mode button for dive planning, select it by pressing enter, no on multi-level, first dive yes, and then again we'll enter 18 meters. Press enter, no decompression limit 56 minutes, press enter, enter the actual bottom time, in this example we will do 56 minutes. Now if you remember back to your training, one of the recommendations is to never actually dive to the limits, either of tables or computers, and by doing this dive to 56 minutes, we would literally be hovering on the absolute limit of that dive which is never a good idea. Always dive conservatively. So we'll press enter and again it's saying safety stop for three minutes, see rule two. So I'll press enter. Telling us our press group after the dive is a W. So I'll press enter. And there's another rule, see rule six, W X Y Z rule. I click on the rules tab. Rule number six, special rules for multiple dives. If you're only planning to do one dive in a day, you can actually ignore that one because you're only doing one dive. However, if you will be doing any additional dives, it's very important that you follow this. If you are planning three or more dives in a day, beginning with the first dive, if your ending pressure group after any dive is a W or X, the minimum surface interval between all subsequent dives is one hour. If your ending pressure group after any dive is a Y or a Z, the minimum surface interval between all subsequent dives is three hours. So press enter. And again, now it's gone to the enter surface interval, so we know there's no further additional rules that we need to follow. That's the last example for this video. So to turn your computer off, just click the on button and that turns it off.